V-Picks are an excellent choice if you're into tone and if you were looking for something a little bit different than what you're used to. As you can see here, I chose a panel of five different V-Picks and they all have their own characteristics and they're all excellent choices depending on what style of music you're into and what type of guitar effects you're after. The four top layers are included in the Fab Four Pack, which is a nice collection of four different V-Picks. And we have the freakishly large one, the large rounded, as you can see here. This pick is a really big pick, and you can you can see, compared to my finger here, how, how large that pick is. Very rounded. Uh, surprisingly, it fits really well in the in the right hand, and um, great tones can come out of that pick because it's so large. You're really gonna have a nice um, a nice sound coming out of your strings, and the, the rounded part here gives all your notes a really um, really smooth yet very precise tone. This pick was designed for Carlos Santana, and if you're familiar with his style, um, you will understand why. Um, the man himself chose, chose this pick. It is an excellent pick if you're after tone. The next one here is the large um, V-Pick, the large rounded V-Pick. Um, very versatile pick as well. Once again, um, it's gonna allow you to have a great tone. Actually, all the V-Picks are designed for, for that purpose, to have a great tone here. But this one right here is maybe a little bit um, um, personally, I find it a little bit easier to use in fast runs than the very, very large one. Um, and it, it is a very well-balanced pick, I think, in many different situations. And then we have the, the small rounded right here. The small rounded is the original V-Pick, and um, that is, if you're new to V-Picks and you're not sure which one to choose, I highly recommend that you start off with the small rounded V-Pick. It's an excellent choice. Um, it will work in most situations. It is the perfect uh, balance between uh, between great tone because of the, the rounded tip here and because of the material as well. And uh, you will be able to 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 run really fast uh, licks with that pick because it, it fits really well on the fingers. Here we have the small pointed pick. This is my favorite pick. Um, as soon as I tried it, I was impressed by um, by the way that this pick will um, fit into your, your your hand. It is extremely small, as you can see, almost only the, the size of my finger, yet it fits perfectly well in your right hand, and because of the size of this pick, and because of the, 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 the pick, the, the, the shape of the point right here, you're going to be able to, to run really extremely fast and extremely precise runs. So if we're, you're into sweet picking or alternate picking or anything um, anything like that, you're really going to enjoy that pick. Um, it was designed for jazz players, but I find it extremely suitable if you're into shred and stuff like that. It's an excellent pick. And then you have the Screamer here. The Screamer is an excellent uh, pick uh, for harmonics because of the size of the of the shape, the, the shape of this pick, uh, the, the pointed part right here, and the way it fits in the fingers, it's going to allow some really nice uh, harmonics, um, just because of the way it's designed. So once again, we're gonna we're gonna go through all these pick individually with uh, different examples, so you can really hear. We're gonna compare the V pick with a regular pick that you might be used to, the the plastic kind of picks. We're gonna talk about the properties of the acrylic which they're all made of, and um, we'll go through all these in a detailed explanation. One of the reasons why I was really interested in the V-Pick is um, that I heard its ability to really improve your tone. And um, that does make sense because if you take a regular size pick, uh, just brand X, they're usually made of plastic, and uh, the width, the width of, of these picks are really thin. Which means that um, whenever you're playing notes, if you want to uh, bring out a special note and make it louder, play with variations, um, it's it's going to be possible, but you're really going to have to pick really hard if you want a hard note. 
a, a loud note, you, you really want to pick hard. In a soft note, you really have to exaggerate that movement and play really soft. So if I want to have something with um, um, some kind of uh, variation in my tone, I'm really going to have to exaggerate any movements that I want. So if we have a run like... I really have to dig into that last note if I want to have it harder. With a V-Pick, because of the way it is designed, it is fairly wide um, right here. The width is, is, for, is really wide. And that means that you're not going to have to dig into the note as hard as you would with a regular pick to have a loud note. And also, what is amazing is that the, the smaller notes, the softer notes, just play soft and it'll work really fine. You, you, in other words, you really don't have to exaggerate. Whatever you're bringing on your instrument with your pick, is what you're going to get. You don't have to exaggerate. Just play how you hear, and that's the tone you're going to have. So if I run that same run, I won't have to exaggerate the loud notes. Just play a little louder, and it'll come out louder. Really, it's um, a feeling of strong connection between your right hand and what you hear. It's uh, very easy to come out with loud notes and easy to come out with soft notes. That's really one of the aspects that I love about the V-Picks. Now another aspect is, is its grip. It, it is the, the surface of acrylic right here is very smooth, extremely smooth, and you might wonder, okay, it's so smooth that it might slip out of your hand, but it doesn't because of the material. The acrylic has a tendency when it's warmed up to kind of stick to your finger. Uh, as you can see, I don't know if you can see here, but it kind of sticks to your finger when it's warmed up. And uh, it doesn't get, leave you like a sticky kind of feeling, like a gooey kind of feeling at all. But it's, it's very effective for that, and it really holds your, your grip very, very well.